There's a creator in all of us. We spend a lot of our time and energy thinking about the perfect post and comment on social media. We make music, we make art, and we create websites and apps, sometimes for work, sometimes just for fun. Now today, I'm gonna show you how to channel the creator inside you to participate in the metaverse. In a brief amount of time, I'll be able to show you how you can create your own metaverse, usually probably in under five minutes. Now, first question to ask is, why do you actually want to do something with the metaverse? What's the big deal about the metaverse? Now, all of us have been hearing a lot about the metaverse, but not everyone sort of really understands what it is. So I'm going to spend a brief moment just to do a quick recap, right? If you look at the history uh, of computing, the history of computing is actually the evolution of how we use computers and computers itself. The first paradigm shift happened in the 1980s with the personal computer, when computers became affordable and small enough that you could take it from a really, really big office onto your desk. The second paradigm shift of computing happened in the 1990s with the internet and web revolution. And that revolution was all about making information readily accessible and free for all publishers and all audience. And of course, there is the smartphone revolution that started in 2007 when the first iPhone came out. And that paradigm shift, the main benefit there is portability so that we can carry um, our devices with us 24 seven. We can access all the information in the world just through our pocket or our purse. Now this next revolution though, this next paradigm shift of computing is not about any of these uh, in the past. It's about what I call immersion. Let me kind of show you um, how it works, right? So what happens in this next paradigm shift um, of an immersive um, computing environment is um, essentially the metaverse, right? So uh, what's gonna happen is a lot of us can put on our VR goggles or AR glasses. And instead of seeing the internet on a screen that I hold in my fingers or sort of sitting on my laptop, the internet is going to be basically wrapped all around you, right? All your 360 vision, top and down. And this alternative, this alternative digital reality is going to be so com compelling and immersive that it's going to feel like you're inside the internet as opposed to just seeing the internet on a screen. And during this process, you can do all sorts of interesting things, right? So you can travel to Japan or France virtually. Um, you can collaborate with your colleagues as if you're in the same room, rather than just seeing them as chat heads on a video conference. And you can do all sorts of interesting entertainment, like you know, sports, games, in a much more immersive 360 and kind of inside the game kind of a way. So that's the metaverse, the next generation internet that's going to offer a much more immersive experience. Now, that's great, sounds great, but you're, you're probably asking, what's in it for me, right? So how can you get involved um, in this next phase of the internet? And the simple way to think about it is, in all the previous waves, a lot of us have been involved in many, many different ways, right? So since the 1990s, a lot of us have created a website. Usually we create at least one website in our life, right? Our wedding, we usually, you know, you and your spouse and your, or your partner usually create a website together. Or, you know, you work on your company's website or you're a student, you want to showcase a portfolio or, you know, you run a restaurant or a salon. People create websites for all kinds of interesting reasons. And of course, in the mobile age, a lot of us have either created our own app or work at companies that have you know, uh, that are creating apps, very, very normal. Now, but the really interesting thing about this, this next phase of the internet, of the metaverse, is everyone who has ever built a website, or who wants to build a website, or everyone who has built an app, or wants to build an app, all of those people, plus all these businesses, are gonna want to create their own metaverse. So you can think of sort of building your own metaverse 
in the same way as, oh yeah, me or my company or my business have built a website or have built an app, you're gonna be building your own metaverse one way or another. But here's a big challenge, right? So the, the challenge is, right now, building your own metaverse is extremely difficult. And here's a, you know, uh, just a quick, you know, it's an open source project. And essentially, uh, when you create your own metaverse right now, you're running against pretty, some pretty hardcore programming. Usually you have to be an expert in either C Sharp or C++. You have to be familiar with these gaming engines like Unity and Unreal. And then you're building essentially like a game, right? It's pretty hard to build a video game. Um, so right now the barrier to actually create, to participate in the metaverse as a creator, rather than just as a spectator, is really high. And we envision a completely different universe where the barrier to creating your own metaverse should be as easy as creating your own website and definitely a lot easier than creating your own app. That's the kind of vision we have because we believe that the metaverse is the next generation internet and its purpose is to benefit all of us, right? Not just a small group of people who have somehow mastered the, the way to create and produce. There are two parts that I wanna sort of focus on how of this talk today, how we can create and participate in this metaverse. Now, first step is of course to create. Now, as we talked about, right, like, okay, I don't know coding, I don't know C-sharp, I don't know C++, what can I do? So let me show you. Double, um, available at double.store, is one of the world's first, you know, no-code metaverse creation tool. And by no-code, I mean you don't have to know programming. What Double does is allow you to create your own online store in the metaverse simply by dragging and dropping, dragging and dropping, uploading media, typing text, right? As easy as blogging. Now, with Double, any merchant or anyone can create their own metaverse store, but it's not just a store. It could be a metaverse gallery, metaverse space, metaverse classroom, um, a wide range of metaverse spaces as possible. So if you look at this, um, I'm just gonna prove to you how easy it is by running through this quick demo video of using Double. And here you'll see, you know, step one is super easy, right? Claim your store name. So whatever business or whatever space name you wanna get, um, you just type it in. Second step, you actually um, pick your own theme, right? So this metaverse that you see, it's accessible both through uh, a regular web browser as well as inside VR goggles. So you can pick different themes, or if you don't like these themes, you can upload your own theme. You can, so you can customize the sky, you can customize the wall, you can customize the ground, all of it. And you can see roaming around the, the metaverse store, you actually, you know, the, the user is immersed in this environment where they can look at various products, right, and, or items. So super easy. And last step was, of course, save what you have created. So literally in under one minute, you can create your own metaverse store that works both on VR goggles and on normal web browsers. Now, second question to ask is, hey, um, what about the products we see inside? How can we customize that too? The answer is absolutely yes, right? So um, again, you're at double inside the dashboard. And super simple, you click the add item button. I have a friend who happens to own a board ape, so let's create a metaverse gallery with his board ape. He just uploads the board ape, types in a bunch of descriptions. Um, you can say list prices, but you know, I know he's not interested in selling because he's a long-term art collector. Um, he pins his board ape onto a particular location in the metaverse store, right? And then he hits save. Then he previews it, and you'll see the same theme store appear, but right now with different products, right? You can see the board ape roaming around, and then on the right, you'll see that little thing called a portal. We're gonna go into what it is a little bit later. Um, but you, you can see the whole process is super simple, right? And this metaverse space or store or gallery, whatever you call it, is literally from start to finish, basically like a one or two minute job. But that's only step one, right? So what happens after you have created your own metaverse store? Well, let's think back to a little bit about the app or website world, right? 
After you've created your wedding website or your restaurant website, what do you do? You usually take the link and you share it with all your friends, right? Or you ask your friends who has, you know, like a really, really highly ranked website to link to you so that, you know, um, your website gets better ranking as well. So the, the way the, the web works is there are all these websites and they're able to all link to one another and users can click from one website to another just by clicking links, right? That is what made the internet and web so successful. So the second step of what you need to do for your metaverse is to connect what you've created to the rest of the community. Okay? And I'm going to show you, again, it's super, super simple, right? It, it's basically the equivalent of creating a, a sort of like a link, what we call a portal, right? A portal for your metaverse so that you can connect your metaverse through a portal you create to other people's metaverses. Okay? So um, it turns out there's a project called MHTTP. And if the name sounds familiar, it's because we all know HTTP, right, without the M. HTTP is the web protocol that allows pages to link to one another. And it's basically in front of every single website URL that we use every day. So MHTTP is almost like a metaverse equivalent, a metaverse version of HTTP. So it's the world's first, what do you call it, sort of metaverse teleportation protocol, which means you can connect different metaverses through these portals, and then your users would be able to travel through a portal from metaverse A to metaverse B. Okay? So there are a lot of technical details. Um, you know, if you're interested, I suggest you go to mhttp.org to, to read more. Um, but again, I'm going to show you sort of like a quick um, video demo of how easy it is to create a portal and to connect your metaverse to others. So this is kind of like a, a, a dashboard that one of the project developers have quickly created. And I know a lot of you miss traveling to, to Japan or you know, to France. So here's an example of actually creating a portal that would land you um, in a place called Toriland, right? Which is like a fictitious uh, metaverse that looks like these Tori gates. If you remember going to Japan and you visit these Shinto temples, they have these orange gates that kind of look like, uh, you know, like, like this, right? Um, so all you do is you sort of like, um, very simple, the dashboard, you type in the name of the metaverse, right? And you sort of type in this destination link, whether it's HTTP or deep link or other ways, and then you have a description. What you do is you kind of upload a design for how your portal looks, right? It could be an image, it could be a 3D model, it's up to you. You click save and basically a portal is created. Now what you can do is you can preview the portal, right? So you land in this entrance world that's full of greenery, it's very serene, and just now, if you were paying attention, you'll see this little sort of purplish looking portal that leads you to virtual Tory land, right? You can, you can jump right in, you go in, and there's like a brief pause because it's changing your worlds. And then you land in this sort of purple theme-ish metaverse land that reminds you of actual Japan. You can go back to the forest land, but you don't have to. And of course, like you can discover roam around this land and see what you can actually do with it, whether it's playing games or singing or buying things. It depends on the, 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 where you land in. Again, this works completely not just in browsers, but also in VR. All right, so enough demos, right? I've um, shown you, if you remember a little bit about how you can create your own metaverse, right, in a few minutes' time. And secondly, I've also shown you how you can connect your metaverse to someone else's metaverse. But I'm here today mainly to ask you a favor. I want to ask all of you a favor, right? Um, I want to ask all of you to pay attention to this space because the metaverse is going to be the next generation of our internet. So everything, all the decisions that collectively we make about the metaverse is going to impact all our digital lives. Are we interested in a walled garden version of the metaverse where you're sort of trapped in this world, it's great, but you can't go anywhere else? Or do you want something that sort of harkens back to the original internet or the original web? 
and even to a large extent, today's web, where you have freedom of navigation, freedom of travel. You don't like this website, you go to another one, right? Or you like this website, and this website recommended a similar website, and you follow the link and you visit there. If we're interested in a metaverse that's truly open, meaning anyone can create, where the hurdles of creation is you don't have to be a great programmer, where anyone can create their own metaverse world. And if you're interested in a connected metaverse where you know, people, all of us, are truly connected to one another, whether it's a business level or individual level, then I want to ask you to connect with me. Because there is a bunch of us who are interested in this vision of an open and connected metaverse. A future internet that's open, connected, and truly free. So connect with me if you think this is an important topic and you're interested because we have a community going. And you can find me on LinkedIn, just search Andrew Kwan Stanford or Andrew Kwan Metaverse. Or you can find me on Twitter. My handle is Andrew Kwan 8888 with four eights. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to co-creating the open and connected metaverse together. Thank you.